Hello, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara, the dance doctor. Welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I am going to be teaching five funky moves that all dancers should know. These are simple moves, they're easy to learn, and they're going to be a great addition to your dancing. If you ever find yourself at a party or in a place where there's music and you wanna just kind of groove by yourself, all of these moves are perfect for you. So we're gonna have a lot of fun in today's lesson. Let's get right into it. Really quick before we start, I did just upload a Quick Tip Tuesday tutorial on my Patreon page about how to find your groove, which would be a wonderful supplement to this lesson. So if you haven't already, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor. I upload a quick tip video every Tuesday. I have 40 minute salsa classes that I upload weekly and I also have a 45 minute dance workout to popular music uh, that I upload monthly. So there's a great value. It's only $10 a month and you get nine classes a month plus access to all of the past classes. So like I said, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor. Also, if you are a fan of salsa dancing and easy to learn shines, go to my website, dancedoctoronline.com, and the first button that you see, the orange button at the top of the page, says try my free mini course. Enroll in that and you will get access to my mini course, which is eight simple salsa shines plus a salsa routine and a PDF uh, with some great tips about how to maximize your practice time at home. So check that out. Pause this video right now and go enroll in my mini course at dancedoctoronline.com and then come back and join me for these five funky moves. Okay, funky move number one looks like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm doing a half circle and then a little hip pulse. I bring the hip back down, I circle in the other direction, hip pulse, around, hip, around, hip, around, hip, around, hip. The important thing that a lot of people miss in this is bringing the hip down. So they'll do this correctly and they'll do this and then they leave the hip up and they try and start the circle. So if I do a hip pulse here, I need to let the hip drop back down before I start on the next movement. Okay, so now let's try this first funky move with music. The most difficult one that I'm going to teach today, but also probably the one that you'll be the proudest of yourself for learning and you've probably seen it and wondered, how do people do that? So I'm gonna break this down um, because it's super fun once you get it. It does just take a bit of mental concentration in the beginning. So it's this move, okay? So I'm gonna break down exactly what I'm doing. First, just to get used to the feeling, I want you to just go out, in, out, in. Keeping both feet on the ground. So that's all we're doing. A slight bounce as I do this. Now, what I'm doing with my feet is as I go out with the toes, I'm putting pressure on one toe and the other heel. Then I come back to the middle and put pressure on both and then I'm going to switch. So now I'm doing this toe and this heel. Come back to the middle, switch. Come back to the middle, switch. Come back to the middle, switch. So what you're going to feel is that you're sending the heel of the foot that um, is on the toe. You're sending the heel forward of this foot and you're sending the toe out of that foot and then they come back to the center 
and then I'm going to send the heel of this foot forward and the toe of, or um, a toe of this foot out and come back to the middle. Out and come back to the middle. Out. So the important thing is that I'm opening like we did just now. I'm opening and closing, but I'm changing the pressure of the foot. I also feel that when I'm here, the foot that I have on the heel is uh, that knee is straight. And then I come back to the middle and I bend both and I straighten the knee. Not, it doesn't have to be like super straight, but I do think that helps with the movement. I'll do it facing away just in case that's helpful. So I'm going to bring my right heel forward and my left toes out and come back to the middle and come back. Switch, come back, switch, come back, switch, come back, switch, come back. It's a little challenging on the balance to do it slowly, but it's good for you. <laughs> okay, and then eventually we can do lots of variations on that. Again, it's just one of those things like circle and pat. It, once you get it, it's easy. It just does take uh, a lot of concentration in the beginning. So um, we're going to do it with music. I'm going to do the first eight counts slow, and then I'll do it up to speed, and then I'll come back to slow, and we'll do that uh, repeated a few times. to do is uh, shoulders. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you know me and you know my teaching, you know that I'm all about channeling rhythm into different parts of your body. And so this is just another expression of that. So I'm going without really doing anything with my feet. All I'm doing is changing my weight and I change it back. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. And it's important when we're doing shoulder isolations to try and keep the arms straight. I don't want to be doing these things from the elbows. So I do actually feel as though I'm kind of pulling down. Actually, sometimes when I teach these concepts to my students, I have them hold weights in their hands. So they feel really that their arms are heavy and what's really moving are the shoulders so that we're really showing off the part of our body that we are intending to show off, okay? So I'm just going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, okay? So now let's try that one with music. Okay, our next funky movement looks like this. We're gonna go a one and two, a one, two, a one, two, a one, two, one, two, okay? So um, a few years ago, like seven or eight years ago now, um, I had a boyfriend that was a B-boy and I was always incredibly resistant to learning 
anything about um, breaking, but by osmosis, I did, I did accidentally learn this step, um, and actually, I love it. I use it a lot when I'm um, dancing by myself, and it is a really great one. It's like kind of one of those like soul train movements uh, that goes really well with um, cool, funky music, okay? So what we're doing is we're going and one and two, switch feet, and one and two, 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 and one, two, and one, two, and one. So as you can see, one, two, one, two. The standing leg, as I do my kick, is, is also bending and straightening. So I go, and one, and two, and one, and two, one, and two, and one, and two, and one, two, and one, and two. And one, and two. I'll do it facing away. We go, and one, and two, and one, and two. Two and one, two and one, and two and one, two and one, two, one and two and one and two. All right, so now let's try that one with music. today we started simple we're gonna end simple it's this one and two and three four five and six and seven eight one and two and three four five and six and seven eight okay so this is probably the one that I use most frequently uh, it's great to do if you're trying to be understated and you just kind of want to groove without being noticed too much this is probably the smallest um, one that we are doing in this video the most subtle, but you can also make it a full body movement as well. And we will do that when we do our practice routine. So I'm going heel and heel and whole foot slide. Heel and heel and whole foot slide. And when I slide in, sorry, I just hit the microphone. When I slide in, I'm replacing the weight and kind of letting my weight fall onto the standing leg. Heel and heel and step, slide. Heel and heel and step, slide. Heel and heel and step, slide. Heel, heel, step, slide. Okay, I'll do it facing away one more time. Heel and heel and step, slide heel and heel and step slide okay i'm also doing ever so slightly turning the chest the opposite shoulder of the foot that's tapping is coming forward so i'm going one and two and three four five six seven eight just to get a little bit more funk into the movement Okay, so now let's try that fifth one with music. This routine looks like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A uh, one, a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, if you want, you can start over, or if you want to add a challenge, you could do this up to speed for the next eight counts. So I'll give that to you as a challenge if you want it, okay? So again, we go one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, open, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, one, ah, uh, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now let's try it with music. for joining me for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I upload more stuff like this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, do check out my website, dancedoctoronline.com, where I have premium courses as well as my free mini course and I'm always uploading new stuff there. I'm currently working on a 21 day dance camp challenge to help you improve your dancing inside and out. So I'm tackling mental and physical challenges that all students of dance face. Um, so I'm super excited about that. That will be available in May. So make sure to check back and subscribe to my mailing list. There's a link to that in the description box so that you can stay up to date on all the new stuff that I am offering. Thanks so much again, and until next time, keep dancing.